Hi ladies and gentlemen, um, we're getting ready to, I uh, got my wire and everything here, um, getting ready to hook up the 8 gang electrical box, it's kind of a, a cushy way to, you know, work, set in a good, good chair like this, and uh, as you see, we've got these uh, two boxes here put together, um, the original plan was to uh, glue these together, and uh, <coughs> that didn't really work out too good. Um, but we're going to make it work anyway. And, and what we're going to do is we got uh, our wire set up here. Um, this is probably not the best way to do things. Um, looks like we can we can we can do a lot of things uh, do a lot of things we probably shouldn't be doing but um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and just uh, hook, hook this up and we got our ground um, the thing about it is uh, our ground wire here really is not as big as what I thought it was going to be. Um, we're going to go for 18 gauge ground wire. Uh, trim it off. And uh, remember with the uh, these channel lock uh, wire strippers here. There we go. That's all you got to do is just uh, snap it on there and uh, Start twisting it and uh, and, and, and making it work. Comes off. I like to twist this, these uh, fine strands um, together. Twist it up real good. Uh, clockwise, you can do it counterclockwise, but uh, I like to do it clockwise motion. And then we got some work at hand here. Uh, I want to go ahead and try to strip a little bit of this plastic off here so we can get actually to our main um, piece. I uh, just want to put it together eventually. It's a lot of plastic on here. Just got to trim this off a little bit. much plastic but the good thing about this is once we get this hooked up we're going to be having a good time running this thing uh, this is going to power a lot of uh, equipment that I haven't been able to power before and uh, it's just going to be a wonderful uh, device I wish I would have been prepared a lot better than this, but uh, bear with me. Well, but uh, once we get this hooked up, we're going to be doing, doing pretty good. I'm surprised, really. Well, it's right there. It just got this side here, it's got a lot of just a lot of plastic on it. And it's just uh, hard enough as it is to make it work. And I got one thing that doesn't help is I got a lot of glue on my hands. 
um, from earlier whenever I just had to just take this apart and uh, make it work and uh, try to figure out what I could do. Number 12. This uh, idea I thought of many months ago. This is not my first time experiencing something like this. Um, why so complicated, but it is. Um, this is a good idea to uh, help out things better. <coughs> wow. I don't know how I done that. I guess I did. That's no, more of a joke. I do know how I done it. <laughs> Have you ever been that kind of way? You know, it's like, yeah. Uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're making progress. It, it's one of those things where it seems so simple, but it's at the same time it's so complicated. It's kind of like a paradox. It looks simple, but it's complicated. It's uh, that's the way they say it. This one's this one's to be a grizzly bear today. It's the way plastic is on this side, it's real thick. So that's how you do it. We've got our ground isolated. But now we got to come back and figure out which one we want to use for uh, And what it's appearing to be is like it's like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one we use because they're all they're both uh, appears to be. Because at this time, we're actually going to make they're actually the same size. So we just have to figure that this here is going to be our neutral. And and that's how you do it, really. I want to get to probably have to do a part two of once I get it hooked up. I could uh, get everybody to see uh, what what. Um, what happens, I guess, if you want to put it that way. All right. Yeah, we're going to say that this is this. Normally, you would you would have your ground. These terminal locks look the same. But, all right. Now, what what we got going on here is we're just gonna wrap it, and uh, we're gonna come in, come in this top hole here, and I'm gonna pull her on through.
we're going to have our hot lead uh, hooked up here in just a few seconds, really. And it kind of pulled out a little bit too much, but that's all right. We're going to need it. Wrap her around, tuck her in, and uh, she shall be good to go. Now the finishing touches is going to be put putting the uh, the plates on it and all that stuff, and that's kind of like what we're going to do for vanity. Uh, we don't necessarily have to. Uh, if I was going to just use this for myself. But I'm going to do this because it's just the right thing to do. And there it, there it is. We got the hot wire coming in. And this is, uh, this is all ran in series. So we got our, I'm going to have it ran in series. Um, now normally if I were to build one of these for other people. And... Uh, you know, for a person that doesn't really know how to uh, diagno diagnose which um, receptacle is bad, I would go ahead and run this in parallel so that way that they can easily uh, isolate the ones that are bad. And that's just how it, how it goes. Just keep them adjusting that till I get that down. <laughs> All right. So now that's that's that on that part. I'm gonna probably focus on making part two. It's like once I get this all wired up, but uh, we're uh, gonna end it. Probably post this to Facebook and YouTube.